In this video, we are going to see dominance property in game theory. In the previous video, I have given all the necessary information about the game theory that is pure strategy, mixed strategy, what is minimax principle and what is maximum principle, value of the game, probability, all such informations we have discussed in the previous video. Here I am going to explain only two problems for dominance property. One is pure strategy and another one is mixed strategy. See before we see the problem, let us see what is dominance property and its procedure briefly. See dominance property means in some games it is possible to reduce the size of the pair of matrix by eliminating rows or columns which are dominated by other rows or columns respectively. So this is called as dominance property. Let us see the dominance property for rows as well as dominance property for columns. See, this is the general rule for dominance property for rows. When all the elements in a particular row of a pair of matrix are lesser than or equal to corresponding elements of another row. For example, row X of a pair of matrix are less than or equal to the corresponding elements in another row. Okay, then row X is dominated by row Y. So delete row X from the pair of matrix because this one is lesser than the other row. So delete the lesser value that is least value row should be deleted from the pair of matrix. The next one dominance property for columns. Okay, the same rule but here opposite that is when all the elements in a particular column for example column X of a pair of matrix are greater than or equal to the corresponding elements in another column then column X is dominated by column Y. So therefore delete column X from the pair of matrix. Okay, when you take row delete the least value when you take the column delete the highest value because player A is a gainer and player B is a loser. Okay. So this is the general dominance property for row reduction and column reduction. In some cases, okay, we can compare one particular row or one particular column along with the average of two or more rows or two or more columns in order to reduce the pay of matrix. Again, I repeat, Okay, you can compare one particular row with the average of two or more rows in order to eliminate it, to check whether the particular row is lesser than or equal to average of two or more rows. The same thing is applicable for column also. You can compare one particular column with the average of two or more columns to check whether the particular column is greater than or equal to average of two or more columns okay in order to reduce the pay of matrix we will see this average method along with the problem in detail look at the first problem for dominance property with pure strategy look at the problem the following table represent the pay of matrix with respect to player a solve it optimally using dominance property here two players are there player a and player b and player a has four strategies one two three four and player b five strategies are there one two three four five and this is the outcome pay of matrix so now the first step is find out the row minimum okay look at the first row which one is minimum value four is the minimum value so write four here Look at the second row, the least value is 5. Third row, least value is 8. Fourth row, least value is 4. In the same way, find out the column maximum. Look at the first column, maximum value is 8. In the second column, 9 is the maximum value. In the third column, 11. In the fourth column, 10. In the fifth column again 10. Now among the row minimum which one is maximum value? 8 is the maximum value. In the same way find out the minimax value. So among the maximum value which one is minimum? 8 is the minimum value. Okay that is a minimax value. Okay now the maximum value is equal to minimax value. No. So the value of game is 8. 
okay see this game has saddle point the maximum value is equal to minimax value so maximum value is 8 is equal to minimax value also 8 so the value of the game is 8 so let me explain the probability of player a and b player a the probability is player a need to select the third strategy okay so the remaining strategies are zero first strategy is zero second also zero is going to select only one strategy that is third strategy and fourth strategy also probability is zero okay these are the probabilities of player a in the same way probabilities of player b is player b need to select the first strategy okay so probability of player b is 1 comma 0 0 0 and 0 now we are going to see the same result by using dominance property okay now let me solve the problem by using dominance property okay the first step is we need to take the total of each and every row okay the first row total is 31 second row total 39 third row total 47 and fourth row total 30 now we need to select the least one okay this row has got least value when compared to all other row no so what is the dominance property rule for row okay if each and every row is lesser than or equal to any other row then this particular row is dominated by other rows so there you have to delete this particular row so i'm going to start from the first row okay look at the first row values and compare these values with the least value to check whether is there any continuous dominance or not okay look at the first value 4 6 is greater so no domination go to the second row 7 is greater than 6 so 6 is a lesser value 4 is a lesser value 10 is higher okay so no domination go to the next option 8 6 is lesser than 8 4 is lesser than 9 10 is lesser than 11 6 is lesser than 10 again 4 is lesser than 9 so this particular row is dominated by this row so delete this particular row now next one so next least value is 31 now i am going to select this row and i am going to compare these elements with other rows so 4 4 is lesser than 7 6 lesser than 8 5 is equal 10 is greater so no domination go to the next option 8 is there no so in this row the first value is 8 so 4 is lesser than 8 6 lesser than 9 5 is lesser than 11 10 is equal 6 is lesser than 9 so this particular row is dominated by this row so delete this particular row okay still we have two rows okay now let us see the next least value 39 so take the 39 and check whether it is dominated by this particular row 7 is least 8 also least 5 is least 9 is least but 10 is greater so no continuous domination see in pure strategy we try to reduce the size of the matrix as much as possible so what is the next value 47 so compare these values with the previous one see 8 is greater than 7 so no dominance now we can go for the column reduction after row reduction now we have two rows and five columns now we need to reduce columns okay for that first find the total of each and every column the first column 7 plus 8 15 second column total 17 third one 16 fourth one 19 and fifth also 19 what is the dominance property for column reduction the selected column element should be greater than or equal to any other column then the selected column can be deleted okay for that i am going to select the highest value so here we have got two 19s no take the first one and compare these values with the other elements so let me start with the first column 7 okay here 9 9 is greater than 7 10 is greater than 8 this column is dominated by the first column so delete this go to the second highest again 19 we have select this particular column and compare with the other elements so take the first one 10 is greater than 7 and again 9 is greater than 8 so this particular column is dominated by first column so delete this next highest 17 
Select this particular column and compare. 8 is greater than 7. Again, 9 is greater than 8. So, this column also dominated by the first column. So, delete this column. Now, we have only two columns. Okay, what is the next highest? 16. Okay, select this particular column. See, 5, 7. So, 5 is lesser than 7. So, no domination. See, in pure strategy, we try to reduce the size of the matrix as much as possible. Now, go to the last option. Okay, see this particular column and compare with this particular column. 7 is greater than 5. Okay, and 8 is lesser than 11. So, no continuous dominance. Now, we can go for the next option that is row reduction. See, after column reduction, now we have two rows and two columns. Now, we can go for row reduction. We have two rows now. Okay, what is the procedure? The selected row value must be lesser than or equal to others row value. Okay, look at the first one, 12 and second one, 19. So, which one is least? 12 is least and compare these value with the other row. 7 is less than 8 and 5 is less than 11. So, this particular row is dominated by second row. So, delete this row. So, now we have only one row. Now, we can go for column reduction. The selected column must be greater than or equal to other column. Okay, we have two columns now. So, which one is highest value? 11 is the highest value. So, this will be got cancelled. So, we have only one element. This is the selected strategy. Okay. So, player A need to select third strategy. The remaining strategy probability will be 0. For player A, probability is first strategy is 0, second one 0, third one selected, fourth one 0. Okay. For player B, Player A need to select third strategy and player B need to select the first strategy. The probability is for player B, he is going to select the first strategy. The remaining strategy probability will be 0. Okay. The value of the game is 8. This is the way to find the value of the game and probabilities of player A and player B by using dominance property with pure strategy. Look at the second problem. Now I am going to solve this problem by using dominance property with mixer strategy. Okay. First we need to find the row minimum. In the first row minimum value is minus 3. In the second row minimum value is minus 4. In the third row minimum value is minus 4. Among these minimum value which one is maximum value? Minus 3 is the maximum value. Now find out column maximum. In the first column maximum value is 5. Second column also 5. Third column 4. Fourth column also 5. Okay, among these values, which one is minimum value? 4 is the minimax value. Okay, now this point has no saddle point. Why? Because maximum value is not equal to Minimax value. Okay. Maximum value is minus 3. And minimax value is 4. Which is not equal. Now you need to proceed dominance property to reduce row and column. In order to eliminate the row. Just find the total of each and every row. And find out the least one. First row total is 9. Second one 10. And the third one 0. Among these value which one is least? 0 is the least value. So, just check these rows values whether these values dominated by any other row. I am going to start with the first row. Okay, 4 is lesser than 5. Minus 4 is lesser than minus 3. Minus 3 is lesser than 3. And 3 is lesser than 4. So, this particular row is dominated by first row. So, delete this row. Now we have only two rows. The next least value is 9. No. Just check this particular row. Okay. 5 is greater than minus 4. So no dominance. The next value is 10. Okay. This is the last possibility. Now compare these values with the previous row. Minus 4 is lesser than 5. 5 is greater than minus 3. So no dominance. So now we can go for column reduction. 
in order to reduce the payoff matrix into 2 by 2. After the elimination of third row, now we have first row and second row and four columns. Now we need to reduce the column. No, for that just find the total of each and every column. The first column total is 1, second one 2, third one 7 and fourth one 9. So among these value, which one is highest value? 9 is highest value. Now compare these values with the other column in order to eliminate this particular column. So now I am going to compare these values with the other column to check the dominance property rule. Okay. The dominance property rule for column is uh, the selected column value must be greater than or equal to other columns. Okay. Now I am going to start with the first column. The first column value is 5. This one is lesser value. So no dominance. Go to the second column. Minus 3, 4. 4 is greater. 5, 5 equal. So this particular column is dominated by second column. So this one will get cancelled. Now next highest value is 7. So now I am going to compare this column values with the other column values. So let me start from the first one. Okay. 5, 3. Okay. 3 is least value. So no dominance. Go for the second one. Minus 3, 3. Yes. Higher value. 5, 4, least. So, no dominance. Okay. Now, you can go to the other option. Now, I am going to select this column. Okay. Let me check the dominance property. Minus 3, 5. Least value. No dominance. Minus 3 plus 3. No dominance. Let me see the last option. 5 minus 3. Yes. Greater value. Then, minus 4, 5. No dominance. Go to the last option. 5, 3. Yes. Higher value. Then, minus 4 plus 4, no dominance. So, now, in this situation, you can take average of any two columns and compare with the other column in order to check the dominance property. Okay. So, now I am going to take the first column and second column average. So, 5 minus 3 divided by 2. 2 by 2 is equal to 1. Minus 4 plus 5 divided by 2. 1 by 2. Okay. Now I am going to compare these values with the third column. This is the average of 1 and 2 and this is the average of minus 4 and 5. Now compare the average value with the third column. Okay. The first one is 1 and this one is 3. 3 is higher value. Next 1 by 2, 4. 4 is higher value. This particular column dominates the average of 1 and 2. So got cancelled. Here I have taken average of first and second column and compare with 3. Okay. If you could not eliminate any one particular column, you can go for other option. The other options are, you can take average of 1 and 3 and compare with 2. Or you can take average of 2 and 3 and compare with 1. But here the third column got cancelled. Now we have got a 2 by 2 payoff matrix. With this we can proceed to find out the probabilities and value of the game. Okay, in order to find out the probabilities and value of the game, first you need to find out the oddments, row oddments and column oddments. So the first one, find the difference between these two and write it against second row. Okay, 5 minus minus 3 is equal to 8. In the same way, for the second row, 5 minus minus 4 is equal to 9. In the same way, you need to find the oddments for first column and second column. And find the oddments for the first column and write it against second column. And find the oddments for second column and write it against first column. So, 5 minus minus 4 is equal to 9. And 5 minus minus 3 is equal to 8. These are the row arguments and column arguments. Now we can go for the probabilities. Okay, for the first one, 9 divided by 9 plus 8 is equal to 9 by 17. For the second row, 8 divided by 9 plus 8 is equal to 8 by 17. In the same way, find out the probability for columns also. 8 divided by 8 plus 9 is equal to 8 by 17. For the second column, 9 divided by 8 plus 9 is equal to 9 by 17. These are the probabilities of row and column. Now you can find the value of the game. So what is the procedure? 5 into 9 
plus minus 4 into 8 divided by 9 plus 8. So value of the game is equal to 5 into 9 plus minus 4 into 8 divided by 9 plus 8 is equal to 45 minus 32 divided by 17 is equal to 13 by 17. Okay. The final answer is 0.76. Okay, this is the value of the game. So, probability of player A is player A need to select strategy 1 and 2 and probability for the first strategy is 9 by 17 and probability for the second strategy is 8 by 17 and the remaining strategies are 0. Okay, this is the probability of player A. Now, we can write the probability of player B. Okay, for player B, the first strategy probability is 8 by 17, second one 9 by 17. So, you need to select the first two strategy. For the first one 8 by 17, comma 9 by 17. Okay, the remaining two strategies are 0 and 0. So, these are the probabilities of player A and B. The value of the game is 0.76. Okay, this is the way to find out the value of the game and probability according to dominance property with mixer strategy. Hope you all understood this concept. Thank you.